you see Jibrail looking very intense, looking at his opponent. Eladio looking very relaxed, smiling, looking looking like he really enjoys this moment. Yeah, very di very different approaches to a fight, it seems. And I gotta say, I, I like uh, Mortazalio's uh, nickname, the Dagger. The That's dagger, pretty good. Yes. Pretty good. You can see are both both fighters long and lanky. I, I do not think that either of these uh, fighters have ever fought an opponent who is as tall as them. Yeah, I mean, for this division, they aren't used to sort of picking their shots and a uh, nice right uh, body kick there from Eladio Bravo. Let's see how the dagger adjusts here to the lightweight division, normally fighting at featherweight, 66 kilograms. It's crazy that he fights at featherweight. He's big for that division. Nice Ooh. looping left hook there for Eladio Bravo. Eladio really picking his shots here. You can see Murtazaliev was waiting for the counter, but couldn't quite get it. Eladio very faint, heavy. Reminds me a lot of actually right now of Israel Adesanya in his in his uh, striking stance. And very faint, heavy, walking him down, but not throwing anything hard. Just really picking his shots. It's a very good point, actually. Yeah, I like the way that he's being accurate. Just you know, testing to see how Murtazaliya reacts. And from there. After he's calculated these reactions, I think we're going to see some harder shots. Absolutely. And in a strange way, it, it matches his demeanor as well. Just, yes. you know, being a little more calm, relaxed. Wow, hard leg kick there from Eladio Bravo. Nice shot. I think Gibril doing the right thing, trying to close the distance, trying to implement some wrestling here. Another really hard leg kick there from Eladio Bravo. Nice. I like Eladio Bravo is doing a very good uh, job of his defensive striking, sort of getting just out of range, yes. not allowing Mortazaliev to counter properly. And there it is, the single leg entry. Let's see if he can get him down. Look at that balance wow. by Eladio Bravo. Oh my God. That is impressive takedown defense. Wow. I mean, especially when you know the kind of grappling that they have in Dagestan. Yes. Uh, he, he manages to pummel here. There's a te technique here called the cheese grater where you can get your opponent's hands against the fence when you got your back. He manages to get out. I'm very, very impressed by that takedown defense. Gibril landing a hard jab there, though. And you can hear Eladio Bravo's corner is telling him to start playing a little bit. He probably wanted to get loose. I mean, he's fainted quite a bit now. He's measured the distance. He's gotten reactions. There we have a, a left high kick blocked. A beautiful wow. movement. Oh my goodness. That was very nicely done from Eladio Bravo. Really showed composure there. Very good defensive striking and offensive and one, well, as you said that takedown defense yes. i mean that was very impressive you can there is a good reason for him winning the swedish championships and you can see he's really riding the confidence of being the newly crowned champion as well you can see it in his entrance you can see it in his fighting style i mean at 19 years old showing this you know the, the calmness and the, the the accuracy it's very impressive and i mean Gibrael is no slouch. Oh, I mean, definitely he's a not. Very, very good fighter, and he's looking to find his range in there. He's not getting beat up, but he's he's trying to find his rhythm, find his timing, and land some shots. And you've got to think that Eladio Bravo, Eladio uh, Bravo's corner, is very happy with that performance in the first round. I think the second one will pick up a little bit more because he, he he's starting to find the distance. We saw that in that last striking exchange at the end of the first round. Did a very good job of getting out of the way and encountering himself. If I were in Gibrail's corner, I would actually be more tenacious with the takedown here. Even though we saw very, very good takedown defense by Eladio, he could get deeper on those shots and shoot lower and go for a deep single leg. Because as you can see, Eladio is very evasive in his upper body. We can see his front leg. 
He is heavy on that front leg, and he that front leg is close to Jibril if he wants it. And that stance is very good when you're striking based, where you're not necessarily worrying about the takedowns. But obviously, this is MMA, and you've got to have that in the back of your head. Jibril ne needs to at least threaten with the takedown to 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 change, you know, how comfortable Eladio is right now. Exactly. He's got he's got to earn the respect of Eladio Bravo. I mean, right now it is Bravo pressing forward. He is the one landing most. Spinning back kick there from Murtazaliev lands, but not with a whole lot behind it. You see, and he's eating. I mean, he's not getting beat up, but he's getting outpointed, and that can get frustrating for a fighter. Look at that right hand. That was very nice. Another right, or sorry, left kick from Bravo. I'm actually in awe right now watching this fight. I mean, Eladio at 19 years old. I mean, imagine where he is in a couple of years. And there it is, the single leg. He goes yeah. deep on it. Manages to get that takedown defense. Look at that. I mean, wow. There were at least two or three instances where a lesser fighter would have fallen to that. Bravo looks confident. Throwing his, his corner calling out. for pressure. Very nice leg kick again. Now the feints are starting to really take an effect. You know, he got a big, big reaction from a feint there. I think Eladio is going to look to land something hard. But if I would, if, if I were Murtazayev, I, I wouldn't give up on that single leg. He just needs to go a little, little deeper uh, on, on that front leg. And set it up a little bit more. I mean, he is just sort of diving at it. I mean, yes. you can tell that he's, exp oh, that was a nice an uppercut amazing, landed amazing. there. Amazing. Slip out of the way and then oh, look at that. Well, Bravo striking is on point. That number low very calf hard kick. Wow, hard strikes oh. here from Melodio Bravo. They are swinging. And now this is did connect. Now. Wow, that right uppercut is just on point for Eladio Bravo. You see Eladio turning it up here. The referee looking closely at Murtasayev, and there it is, the deep double leg, the deep shot, and he's bouncing on one leg. With double underhooks here. Let's see if he can pummel. Not a whole lot of time for Murtazayla to work, though. And there it is. Wow. He punishes him. Gets out and... Oh, my God. He's just my swinging. Land. Wow. What a round for Eladio wow. Bravo. Wow. And he is loving it. It wow. is hard not to, as you said, to be in awe of how... Ex he's just showing so much experience at just 19 years old. You could see, especially at the end, once again at the end of a round where Lottie Brother really found his rhythm, just ducking away. I mean, we did get into a bit of a dogfight there for a little yeah. while, but then. Bravo stepped back and then started countering instead. And it was almost as like Eladio had had his punches at almost like 60, 70 percent, and then he turned it up to, you know, an 80 and 90 percent, really landing hard. And you can see the desperation in the eyes of Murtazayev, where the wrestling is not working, and, you, and he starts to swing here blindly. As yeah. You can see. I mean, he's missing with almost everything there, whereas Bravo is just being so much more accurate. We, sh we should not forget that this uh, Murtazayev is fighting up a weight class against uh, the, the tallest lightweight in Sweden and the champion. So, I mean, this is not, if, you, if you're moving up a weight division, this is not an easy fight to take. Absolutely. He's bleeding quite a bit from his nose. And I mean, he at least has uh, Kamzat Chimaev in his corner who will challenge for the uh, brave Walter Waits title later on this year. And Murtazai needs to make something happen now with Ron. He needs to either get a takedown or land something hard standing, but I think that's way easier said than done. And you can see Eladio not even breathing heavy here. He looks fresh as in the first round. Oh, look wow. At the nice. question mark kick. Nice question mark kick there. As we said, Israel Adesanya vibes all over. Absolutely. The place.
And it's kind of like we're just waiting in anticipation yeah. to see what a lot of your Bravo throws now. Perfect sprawl there. He perhaps should have thrown the kick a little earlier. Nice uppercut. Oh, he's so incredibly fast with his hands. I mean, I can't even catch it with my eyes. And I'm sitting ringside. Yeah. I mean, just, there's no wasted energy from Bravo either. I mean, he just ducks under. He picks his shots. Got tagged there a little bit, but nothing substantial. I really like the coaching also from Eladio's corner. Absolutely. Very, oh, very what a combination. And on a knee. Right now the Hard knee. Ooh. Hard knee. He's, about hurt. To get a he's hurt. Oh, he's chasing him down now, Eladio. Let's see if he throws a high kick. Oh, it deep on the leg. Showing a lot of heart here is, is Murtasayev. He's been hit from the bell. He must be hurt to the body bowl. His hands are low, his All hands right. are low. His body language is telling the whole Bravo's story. Bravo's turning right it now. on, Bravo's turning it on. Another three punch combination and more, and a kick. You can see his fight is close to being stopped, another knee. And he's in there. As you see, Eladio is leaving that, leaving that front leg out. And Murtasayev is wise to grab a hold of it. You can see, look at that, he's going for the switch. Let's see if he can use those long arms to cinch up a choke, maybe. Eladio very wise to push on the head. And you can see, oh, wow, oh, straight hard. to the back of a, of a leg. Hammer fist reminds me of Benson Henderson versus Nate Diaz. <laughs> yeah. All right, there Bravo needs to get out of this and establish himself as a dominant fighter once more. Because right now, Mortezada, I mean, he is getting a chance to get a bit of a breather. And he is the one in dominant position. And he is, I mean, he is getting a breather, but he's also wrestling for his life. And he is fatigued and hurt. He's bleeding profusely from the nose. You can see it on the right arm of Ladio Bravo. When the referee separates them. I'm not sure if I agree with that separation, but. I mean, Murtasayev earned that position. He did. Deep shot, he's in on it again. And Mortazayla is just trying for king and country to just get this takedown, but he impressive. I impressive mean, I'm just showing. in all look at Mortazayev's face. Yeah, and a lot of their faces truly tell the story of a fight that was a perfect, or a near perfect showing from Eladio Bravo, and Bravo emerging as a a a, a real star here in amateur A-class MMA. He has that star quality about it. You can see it. I mean, from, from, from his very entrance to the cage, he had that aura about him. And he just, yeah, he's got everything needed to be a future star. Here he is dancing <laughs> to the music, and we headed off to Ricky Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who score in about 30-27, 30-26, and 30-25. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Heladio Bravo! Wow, two 10-8 rounds handed off by one of the judges to Eladio Bravo and 